What do you think are the key issues facing our, our Pacific region right now? Right now, <laughs> it's survival. And that uh, when you talk about survival, it's the survival of the, the landmass that we live on, our islands. Uh, when we consider climate change and the rising sea levels, you're talking about the disappearance of our very livelihood in the Pacific. And uh, a lot of emphasis should be, uh, should go to that. And the sad thing about it is that we contribute the least in terms of the, uh, the greenhouse gas emitted by the world. And uh, we have so little uh, to contribute in the degradation of the universe, but we suffer the most for, uh, from the effects. Just moving on to the Pacific and the topic of geopolitical movements. Micronesia's president, uh, Panuelo, has accused China of political warfare. Does that accusation uh, concern you? For us, it is a concern, particularly when part of the claim was that uh, some of the activities that he had detected and reported uh, were supposed to have taken place in Fiji. We are responsible for everyone who comes into Fiji, and we should be looking after their interests until they leave. Uh, so for someone to feel threatened by another power while in the dominion of Fiji uh, is uh, it's almost a slap in the face, so we need to be, uh, we, we need to be sure that uh, that actually happened, and if it did happen, how do we address it? Uh, Prime Minister, what do you think China's role in the Pacific region should be? I think they should continue to play the, uh, the role of a, a major developed country and a development uh, partner for the territories in the Pacific, uh, and not... Uh, Use and I do not think they are in, they are intensely uh, using the Pacific as a, an area of power play. Do you think they are a threat? A threat is when a power uses its uh, military capabilities to further its policies, uh, strategic interest in the in the area targeted. Uh, a presence is different from a threat. So we have to, in our strategic uh, calculations, work out, are they just present, being present and being partner in our development, or are they a threat? A threat to what? To our sovereignty? A threat to our collective agreement? Uh, to our collective uh, and regional uh, uh, pact as a, uh, an area of peace? Uh, it, is, it is now an area of peace, but in the First and Second World War, they, the Pacific was the, one of the main centers of conflict. So we cannot really forget that, we cannot afford to forget that, and uh, we should continue to try and promote the Pacific as a, a region of peace. Um, Prime Minister, you recently met with Australian Prime Minister Albanese, um, after which you announced uh, what sounded like a backing of Australia's push to acquire nuclear-powered submarines under the AUKUS deal. And other nations in, in the <coughs> Pacific region have raised concerns about the, the possible environmental impact of these submarines and um, that they could also drive or increase militarization in the Pacific. Why do you not share these concerns? I do not, because this is a sovereign decision by Australia. For us to have a strong friend is, a, is not a bad thing. And Australia is developing its own capabilities. Uh, in our case, if my friend develops their own uh, capability, why should I be worried about what they may do about it, unless we're worried about uh, aggressive or uh, some invasive uh, activities they might be looking at in the future. But I believe, and I am sure, the building of the submarine uh, does, not, uh, does not break any of the agreements made in the non-proliferation and the uh, Rarotonga agreements. At one stage, uh, I was not happy with the way Australia was conducting its affairs in the Pacific, and I spoke out very strongly against them then. But uh, we cannot change uh, history. Uh, we are here. We are now part of the Pacific community. And we should continue to consider what is of most important for us, that is our collective development, uh, our collective security, uh, and also our collective protection from uh, outside interference. And uh, that's the way I 
feel Australia is conducting its affairs, and I have no reason to doubt the sincerity of their making themselves stronger to be a stronger friend in the area. Back home to domestic issues. So with regards to the previous government, there are some concerns uh, that maybe your government is investing uh, more resources than is necessary um, to go after the former Fiji First government, particularly Frank Bainamarama. What do you say to these concerns? There has been no additional uh, effort put into the agencies that are responsible for maintaining law and order. And, uh, and justice. Uh, the same forces that were there, they're still there and they're still doing what they normally do. No extra effort. So one of the, the, the promises or one of the expectations that your voters and others uh, have of your government is a more accurate information as to the state of, of the country's finances. What is the situation with our economy? Our economy is uh, slogging on. I, I use the word slogging on. Uh, objectively, because we are really struggling. And uh, we have a budget coming up in about three months' time. And before that, we will have an economic summit. And hopefully, we can get some uh, real experts, uh, outside experts. We have our own in Fiji. But we'd like to, uh, we're no longer a national economy concerned party. Our national economy affects other economies. And other economies affect us. So we need a uh, more collaborated, uh, collaborative conference where we collaborate with others, uh, bigger economies. How do they get out of the trough we see in their development? There was a big, huge trough here. There was a, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, downturn in your economy. How do you get out of it? And those are the things we really should be talking about. And uh, there's a lot of good in the country. There's a lot of good in the people in the country. They, uh, we are very energetic and we are very productive and uh, innovative. Uh, what we need to do is find what we need to move into and you galvanize the people into action into those areas. Not valuable Prime Minister, and thank you for spending the time on the Pacific. My pleasure.